Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. It's always good to see you. If you're new here, my name's Amy. Hello. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, and, and it sounds like I'm not the only one. We're not alone in this. It's been, it's been a, one of those fucking weeks, <laughs> right? Um, I personally have only read one book since the last time I checked in with you. And, uh, yeah, let's hear about it, okay? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> curiouser and curiouser. All right, so we're gonna talk about the haunting of Ashburn House. Holy shit balls, Batman. And then I have a couple more things to unbox that finally came in. Um, neither are really horror specific. One is sci-fi. You may have noticed some foreshadowing. You're probably not going to be surprised at all by this one. Um, and the other, while is not normally of the horror variety, this version of it, this, this particular thing, like, You'll see, you'll see, it's okay. And if anyone's like sensitive to like noises and sudden like, <sighs> my last book chatting video, I did my very first unboxing. And like when I edit things, I, one of the last things I do is the background music and I really like do another audio pass, right, right? I try and I crank it the fuck up so that I can hopefully catch everything. And that was hell. I am so sorry if at any point that bothered anyone's ears or anything like that. Like, oh my God. I hope you guys don't crank that shit up when you watch my videos, cause, hey. Um, but you know, yeah. So for now on, I'm already gonna have shit like the tape wise, like dealt with and shit. Cause I'm, I'm not doing that to you. I'm definitely not doing that to myself ever again. That sucked. All right, so yeah. We'll be doing that too. Anyways, this shit. Listen, when was the last book, movie, anything that really scared you? Like really fucking scared you? Um, because for me, you know, like some of us feel very desensitized, right? As horror fans, like been there, done that, we're survivors. <laughs> so like, you know, it takes a lot to really get us. Um, and most folks cheat with low hanging fruit, right? Right. And like a lot, a bunch of us, we, we've talked about this. So freaking, I think what happened to me was I had a day where I was just feeling especially vulnerable. Okay. I was very sensitive. My masochistic ass. I know I throw that word around a lot. I really fucking mean it this time. My masochistic ass decides upon waking before coffee, before breakfast, to do my taxes. Normally it's really not that big of a deal. I'm a simple gal. Even when I streamed on Twitch, I never did donations. I, I didn't care about partnership. I never had to worry about quarterly taxes, did I? No, it's been lovely. I've made it this long, keeping things nice and simple, whatever. And um, last year, it's just been different, right? It's been different. It's been so fucking different. So, so was my tax experience this, this time. I just needed a responsible adult, apparently. So starting right off the bat, it was like, ooh, tension building's great in this one fucking A. And then I really wanted this house. I want this house. I really want this house. It's fucking perfect for me. It's like right at the base of a mountain, has this wood surrounding it. It's right the fuck outside of town. So town's right, you know I love this shit. Whoa, it was perfect. I can go on a walk, it's lovely. And I just really wanted to clean the windows. Oh my God, please let me just clean your windows. I will just, just clean the fucking windows. I'm really like, that's a pet peeve of mine. So, ooh, car windshields. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh 
talk amongst ourselves. Like, I can't handle that shit. Drives me nuts. So, I'm basically saying I spent this whole book just wanting to wash her windows. <laughs> Oh goodness. Okay, so um, this is also, I've been having a knack with this shit lately um, where I have these main characters where I wasn't planning on relating to them that much, okay? So then I just said, I'm already feeling vulnerable and now I feel exposed. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> um, it's got your classic start to this genre, to this type. Um, cause we go into it thinking like ghost story or something, right? Right. I'm pretty sure I went into it assuming it was a freaking ghost story of some kind. And yeah, the ghost, restless ghost still walk the halls and shit. So that is one thing that I can say. I recently complained about a book where I said I was, I, f I was frustrated the whole fucking time and I wasn't sure whose intelligence was being insulted or if like how I felt was exactly how I was supposed to be feeling and I was putty. That shit, you know. Um, one thing I can say about this one is for me, the foreshadowing was perfect. To just set you in this, in this, you know, whatever. And you're just like, wait a minute. Oh shit. You know, <laughs> oh yes. So. Freaking, all right, okay, now. I, I'm, th there's only so much I can say. We're just talking about one book this time. So if you haven't read this book, I love you and I will see you here for the unboxing shit, okay? Because I'm about to go to fucking town on something right now and I don't wanna spoil anything for you, okay? Freaking, okay, fam, okay. All right, listen. That fucking, when that shit happened with the smoke, when that bitch was like, I got a counterattack for everything, baby, what are you doing? I was like, oh, this bitch. What do we, what do, what do you even do? Does she have a counterattack to everything? Just, pff, pff, How do you but, fight that? Is she a witch? What the fuck is this bitch? What the hell is going, what is going on? Like, mm. I was losing, oh, I'm pretty sure my brain snapped at that point. I was like, all right. So I know I said I want this house, but let me tell you what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> you can, you can manipulate that smoke. Keep me from doing my signals and shit. All right, bitch. You want your house? You can have your house and trick her into coming into the front door while I'm lighting that shit the fuck on fire. Top to bottom. Fire, bitch. Come on in. It's all yours. And then I'd go out the back door, and while I'm making my way around the house, I'm sitting the whole fucking woods. And this feels really weird to say. <laughs> I love the Pacific Northwest. I love trees. I love nature. All that groovy shit. But I will burn those woods down. Oh, oh no. No. What do you do? I, don't, I would probably die if I did this shit because it worked out better for Adrian. But... <laughs> So that's all I could think was, oh, you want this house? You can have this house. Bye. <laughs> Just fucking torch it. There are how many candles upstairs? How many times were you like, why are you worried about the dark, bitch? You got candles upstairs. Go get them. I'll wait. <laughs> I would have used the shit out of that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Which... That would actually work though, cause fire, right? See, it's fine. Well, then I'd be out of a house, but I'd still have that mountain. Fuck it. All right, whatever. Listen, no, just 100% nope. That is when Amy would nope the fuck out. Like, nope, you can have your house, bitch. I don't even give a shit, all right? <laughs> I will burn this to the ground. Where's my kitty? <laughs> Wolfgang was so adorable. It was so cute. Oh my goodness. I miss having kitties. Okay, anyway, let's move on to the boxing now that I've like got myself all emotional and shit. Okay, this one, however, is a tabby dabby thing, so I'm, I'm sorry. Pardonnez moi. Okay. Oh, this is a sci fi one. Eating the 
fucking frog. <laughs> All right, there's that one. Bye bye. <laughs> Drop that shit. Here's the one. Sorry. That's not horror, but it is horror. And it's zombie Deadpool. Cause I needed another fucking Deadpool Funko fucking pop. <laughs> so I am reading the beautiful ones. And uh, you know, I had a few days where I don't think I even touched a freaking book. I just like, Meh. so, you know, so, uh, but now like I'm in it, like I'm back fam. I like, okay. I like, I, I watched my Buffy. I had my comfort food. I had my, you know, burrito and all that groovy shit. And like, hey. <laughs> next, uh, I, I got to film that ghostly story time. Don't I? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The fucking world is waking up, fam. That's how late it is early. And I guess it's like, you know, 5.30 a.m. <laughs> All right, you guys take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you next time for a ghostly story time. I believe the clue was creepy Disney. All right. Oh my goodness. Freaking nature is waking up and I'm still just like, I'll get it. I'll do it. It's happening. Oh my All God. All right, fam. That's it. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to get stuck on Goofy.